So hi, hi everybody. I'm Simon Bardou, working for uh, BNP Paribas. <laughs> so I guess you know this uh, big bank uh, all over the world. They have three main assets, uh, which are uh, number of my employees. I have more than 200 employees in 80 countries. And these employees have, uh, or the majority of them, uh, a high degree and are used to work with internet and to use uh, new technologies uh, tools. So these assets, I have also two, um, two main issues. The first one is the how to, uh, to capitalize on the, on the internal knowledge and expertise that I have inside my company. Um, and, uh, and so all the resources also in terms of facilities uh, that I, I guess I don't use uh, at their full potential. And my second need is how to, uh, to create more links uh, between my clients because I have a huge base of clients. I know they, I know that for them money can be important. They all talk about it with their friends, with other banks, <laughs> uh, with colleagues. And so I was interested in the social business and collaborative economy to uh, find out how you can help me uh, get more value. So the first point uh, that was suggested was uh, to create a, an open platform to foster exchanges between uh, clients, uh, experts, different experts from, uh, from my bank who can answer to the needs uh, in an uh, open open way so that other potential customers can uh, enjoy from these discussions and uh, do that. Something very common uh, in the social business and social economy, but not for not for us yet. Um, so there are four values that uh, I can see for my business based on that open sharing. The first one is that it will lower uh, the cost of the risk for me. That's one of my points is that when I loan money from uh, for customers, I need to be refunded or uh, I have some cost of risk. Uh, the second is that it will help me maximize uh, attrition or loyalty if I feel that the customers can express their questions, be answered quickly, uh, they will stay longer with me. The third one will be to sell more products till uh, I can see different needs. Some needs can be expanded by the discussion uh, so I can refer, uh, I can broaden the, the range of products. And the third one, the fourth one, is that my, uh, I feel that my employees will be more committed to work within BNP Paribas, the bank for a changing world, uh, <laughs> and uh, because they are feeling involved and they have the opportunity to have uh, uh, transparent uh, exchanges. And there was another point that I already launched, but apparently it's not known, uh, it's to use the, my internal facility, facilities. In 2005, I launched a car sharing uh, initiative within for the 100,000 people in France. It didn't work so well, I don't know why. I also uh, launched a room and facility sharing because I have a lot of offices who are empty after 6 or 7 p.m. So uh, I'm sure I can get some value out of it. Uh, so, but I already got some value uh, from these exchanges. Uh, Thank you very much. We've listened to, to very interesting ideas. No, For example, this open console idea no, that anyone can access, no, would be very interesting because you position yourself as the experts, no? Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you have to think internally, for example, where you have, you want your employees to become pop stars. Because hmm? mm -hmm. usually banks uh, internally move personal from branch to branch and no, they regulate. So there are very many issues, but I think the ideas were very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on, please. Hello everyone, um, so I'm Mathieu Pomare. I'm working uh, on the Orange firm, which is a big mobile uh, telecom operator. I guess everybody <laughs> knows about it. So um, on that workshop, uh, we exchange about like all uh, a big firm uh, with all that culture, all, uh, all its processes, uh, cool the, um, um, could get profit from the, the collaborative economy. And basically, we, uh, we were uh, thinking about kind of two quick wins. Um, one of that is uh, mostly about like um, trying to enabling trust, uh, especially from people who are working in, uh, in big firms and with that reluctance uh, linked to the, to the culture, to the processes, uh, to discover the uh, collaborative economy. Um, mainly f and firstly by exchanging and uh, knowing about it. So we are thinking about like uh, sessions, for example, like 
training about uh, exchanging new practices linked to the collaborative economy. But we could uh, we could get a um, little bit farther than that. For example, like by um, uh, can I say um, joining different person, for example, a marketing person, uh, um, um, a product marketing uh, manager from uh, Orange who want to challenge his product with other person um, from the collaborative economy, for example, from startups. We could exchange like in um, six to seven person in possibly different spaces, for example, uh, co-working spaces, we're exchanging with Masha about La Mutinerie, uh, which could be different spaces um, uh, than the uh, traditional uh, way of working, like in big open spaces and kind of that stuff. So um, in a way, it could be um, a great thing uh, on the first time to first know about the, uh, the uh, collaborative economy and share it in the traditional big firms. Secondly, uh, challenging um, traditional work from uh, big firms uh, with people issued from uh, like kind of new way of thinking um, from the collaborative economy. And uh, secondly, we were thinking about like oh, we could uh, we could create a, um, really a great uh, a great share between. Uh, actors uh, like pure players uh, from the collaborative economy, for example, like startups and a traditional firm. And on that, uh, and that's the second point, we were thinking about like um, sharing, like, um, what do you say? Um, mutualism. Mutualism. <laughs> Come on, come on. <laughs> sorry. Um, um, common uh, departments. Uh, now, um, we could share like, uh, I'll try to. Um, to uh, okay, the the pure players could uh, share profit from the traditional firm, and we are thinking, for example, uh, about the resources. Uh, let's take an example of uh, a startup. We who could bring a new ID, who could be profitable for a big firm. In exchange, uh, possibly this big firm may uh, propose, for example, a juridical uh, department or um, or other departments that uh, or marketing departments that could help and challenge the startup project. And on the other side, the big firm uh, could uh, profit from uh, like new ways of working, like agile development of agile methodologies, which is a beginning in big firms, but it's not uh, always a uh, um, always implemented, um, and also, uh, yeah, and could also share offices, for example, from young startups, uh, that it could get like a, a real, un a real business environment. So it could be a, a win win, uh, win win share. Very interesting. We're seeing another different approach, and this one is about enabling and giving support to startups rather than changing the company. No, it's just infecting by getting at least some contact between the new economy and traditional companies. No, actually, it's it's yeah, it's the boss sharing. It's like uh, it's like win-win. So you are a startup. You could share profit. Uh, you could um, get profit from the the big firm, like for example, resources or uh, sp um, dedicated stuff like uh, juridical or RH or if they need help, like not consulting, but like. Um, from sometimes, like you know, uh, yeah, kind of coaching or uh, dedicated help on some points, and on the other part, the the firm will get profit from uh, that uh, that over brains who are not structured, but all these processes, this uh, this culture, uh, who are inherent of all the big firms after um, after decades of um, after general work. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Back to La Poste and Tony. Hi again. So I have a long list of <laughs> what we can share or give to, to startups. Um, I will begin with uh, some small things but uh, uh, which are real value, like uh, unused um, purchased items, like travel tickets, for example. Uh, we can resell them. Uh, we can let uh, access to our CPU power, which is 
not uh, used, so we can uh, mutualize it. Uh, the question of food. Uh, open our restaurants uh, and give free lunch to startups in exchange uh, to, to meetings <laughs> with uh, employees. Uh, these are not engagements, only ideas. Huh? <laughs> um, so the, um, there are some big, uh, big areas after. Uh, first is space. Uh, we could rent uh, unused space, like liquid space. Uh, we could give from, uh, for free um, some, uh, some space uh, on short, short term uh, notice only for good cause, for example, uh, fundraising uh, and so on, open some post offices uh, during uh, the weekend, for example, when, it, when it's closed. And we also imagined uh, a step further that post offices or, or postal areas could be hubs or um, La Poste uh, as a platform, as a service to uh, other things like um, uh, SNCF, like uh, I don't know, some uh, railway station uh, which uh, hosts other services, other companies. That was for space. Uh, we have spoken about cars. So it's carpooling, car sharing, and uh, also I uh, added some uh, data creation um, with cars like uh, Mount some uh, video or picture or taking equipment on cars, uh, and cars, postal cars, car uh, could be uh, every day take pictures and updates uh, like uh, I don't know Google Street View or, or so on, and we could give it for free or sell it. I don't know. <laughs> Next is money. Um, well, give money for seed funding. Uh, we have uh, mainly private equity. Um, yet, and not seed funding, well, so why not? Or being part of uh, an incubator. We, we have thought about it, but uh, it's not yet uh, organized. Um, the, then we have giving a lot of content. So uh, give content about uh, the organization, like uh, the organogram, uh, which is a good person to contact, uh, how are we organized, uh, who are the de um, decisive person to contact. Uh, give, uh, give for free some surveys uh, that we've met, for example, on sharing economy uh, or, or so on. Uh, give some ideas that we are not capable to develop ourselves. So let other people like startups uh, have the, the, the ideas and develop some services themselves. Uh, give away some data uh, for free, like our, uh, I don't know, zip codes or our addresses, uh, some part of it, it's, it's not free uh, yet, but uh, we, we, we could uh, uh, give it for free. Um, publish uh, our pains, our problems, like, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, we have some very, it, it's very difficult for us to, uh, to treat uh, all emails during a day. Uh, is there a startup who has a solution for it and uh, that maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, hundred and thousand of problems of pains internal that maybe some startups could uh, uh, solve. And uh, give content about our strategy too, uh, what our activities, uh, what our subjects of research for innovation, for example, uh, in order to make some startups uh, focus on our um, strategic issues and to be more uh, efficient when they propose some, some new solutions. And last one, uh, but not least, uh, it's employees. So we could share or give skills, time, and access to network, which is very, very important and has real value for, for startups. Uh, internal network and uh, external network. For example, I say, okay, maybe um, a startup come to me and say, okay, I have a great solution for, I don't know, uh, uh, human resources uh, management, and maybe it will not correspond to uh, uh, La Post problems. But uh, if I heard, I don't know, another company um, which is related to us, like uh, Orange, for mm -hmm. example, uh, I can address this uh, startup to Orange, um, and they, they can make some uh, business or services with, with them. So it's very important. Um, so for employees, it could 
uh, it can be access to the sharing economy, pr provide access to our employees, like many services, carpooling, car sharing, uh, um, exchange of housings. Uh, that's not uh, in place yet, so many things to, to imagine. Um, we have imagined yet uh, the mailman as a global facilitator, not only a, a mail distributor, but it could be a, a, a platform, a hub, a link between people. It was actually in the past, but so we have to reimagine uh, ourselves. And uh, then we, we thought about uh, the people uh, of a certain age, uh, uh, they, they are in the closet, you know, they, they were <laughs> really skilled um, at a certain time. For example, I don't know, in, uh, in computing, uh, they, they knew how to code in C++ or Borland, but uh, not anymore in Java or new tech mobile uh, development. And uh, yet they are unemployed, well, they are paid, but unemployed and not recognized anymore in the, in the company. So maybe we could imagine uh, with the blessing of the unions, of course, <laughs> uh, that uh, they, they could help some startups, not with technical skills, but maybe uh, the skill to understand complex organizations and the, their internal uh, and external uh, networks and to regain trust, uh, confidence, and uh, to be recognized more than they are now. So it, it, this is a huge uh, uh, issue for us. Uh, and then, uh, well, um, some of us said we could give uh, startups access to employees to make surveys uh, or tests or beta tests uh, to employees to test their, their ideas. It's a good idea. And uh, at last, uh, uh, some of us could be part-time dedicated to help startups uh, on their job time officially. Uh, like, okay, every Friday you, you're going to help and mentor uh, this startup um, during a whole year, and to well to to provide uh, it, the startup skills and also to learn from it um, on new uh, technologies and new stuff. Impressive. I I would like to 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 to, to say when you said the La Poste as a platform. No, I think this this is very yes. very interesting because it's not a company anymore. When you look the, yourself as a platform, hmm, you are creating the the the, the 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 environment for others to grow, and you might grow with them. So I think it's very interesting. Yes, we have three minutes left. We can take one or two short questions, if anyone has, or we could either applaud Louis David, who's been organizing the whole show, and these three companies that been have been so generous to offer themselves as an experiment for us to think about how. Uh, uh, collaborative economy and legacy business can collaborate. So please. 